Hello, good afternoon. Welcome to our Valiant webinar. My name is Jose Viguer. I will be hosting this webinar also with the help of Manuel Castells, the engineering director of the company, who will help us later with the technical issues or things uh, on the hydraulic superstrip. Well, I will have also here my colleagues, Gillian and Iris who, uh, from the Expo department who are helping us also. They are part of the Success Valiant team here in this factory. Okay, I, will, uh, I would like to tell you that we will disconnect all the microphones, so we will try to have a better sound because here it, it is much noisy and perhaps we will, we will go better with, without the sound of the microphone. But if you need any query, any question, you can type on the chat and we have people in the office that will help you with the replies in the moment. So we will be coming with a fluent communication. Well, uh, I would like to thank you. We are very pleased to have you here for at least 30 minutes with us. I know this is sometimes it's difficult and that's why we are pleased and thank you for that. We will focus this webinar on the hydraulic two post lift, as we told before. But before going to see and check that lift, I would like to take a tour to the factory so you can see with us a quick view of the factory and see how we manufacture our lift here in Bellion. In this moment, we are located in the machining area. Here is where we mechanize, where we manufacture all the parts of the Bellion lift. For example, this is the CNC machine, computer in country machine, that is manufactured every part. Here you have the raw material, for example, it goes into the machine, it's machinized or it's machined, and then like these ones, for example, and then here you can see as an example, the finished part, okay? We can also see here, we can also see here, for example, the spindles, the screws. This part, these are the screws that are going inside the post of the electromechanical two post lift here. These screws are manufactured in that machine. And if you can see now, that machine is one of the best heritage received from our parent company, Istobal. That machine is working here from the beginning, perhaps the 60s. Well, we can go on with the, with the tour. Now we, we go on in this machining area where we are manufacturing all these parts. We can see here on our right hand, the bending machine, okay? It's bending the sheets of iron. This is 400 ton strength and six meters wide, okay? For bending the mainly the post and now here we are in the welding area come with me perhaps we can see now the robot the robot welding automatic welding okay we cannot see directly to the robot but you can see through the to the images it's welding these parts these are the wagon lift the lifting wagons Okay, the services which are completely welded here with our our robot welding machine. Well, we can go on with the tour straight that way where we will see, for example, the raw materials coming into the factory as the iron sleeves. Okay, these iron sleeves will be later will be later cut. I would like to 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 show you this completely manufactured here in Europe, okay? This iron leaf will, will be cut from that machine that you can see that side, okay? That is the laser cutting machine. We, we get this, for example, we can see here one, one, one sheet. Let me go to here. 
okay? This will be cut from the laser cutting machine, will go into the machine and I cannot, I, I'm not sure if you can see, we can get an image from here in this moment. Perhaps if we, if we go this side, we can, we can see how we are in this moment cutting the shapes of, yes, these are the shapes of the ramps of the sisal leaf. Can you, yeah, perfect. We can see there how this machine is laser cutting the shapes of the ramps in a sisal leaf. Okay, then we can go on with a visit through here. We are now getting into the assembling area. For example, in this side, we can see the platforms. I think these are the platforms of, uh, for example, this one is a platform for a 25 ton heavy duty four pull slip. I think this is the eight meter one. Okay. And here, many other parts for the four pull slip, the carriages here. Cables for the heavy duty four ton lifts. And well, this is good. Here we can see how we are assembling one purpose lift. I think this is the 30 ton, yeah, this is the, the 30 ton purpose lift. Here we can see the, the carriages. Good afternoon. And here we can see how we are finishing this platform. The pulleys, later on, the cables, which are here ready to be installed. I think this, this, this unit is, is, is a part of a, of a batch going to the UK in a couple of weeks, I think. Well, we can go on with the visit. We can see here straight on the alignment sisal leaf area. Okay. This morning we were finishing uh, MOT and MOT sisal leaf 5.5 ton. Now, I'm, I, uh, yes, I think we are also finishing another unit of this 5.5 ton alignment scissor lift. We can see here also the control unit. Now we are standardizing for 2021. We will standardize our models for the alignment scissor lift into two models, four ton, 4.2 meter platform and 5.5 ton, 5.4 meter platform. Two models, standardizing, Berlin is standardizing. And here we are getting into the, into the assembling of the scissor lift area. Here we can see in this part, all the parts already finished here in the factory. Okay. The coverings, the, this is a platform for a scissor lift the arms, the scissors, every part here. And here in this other side, we are preparing the next batch of scissor lifts. We produce the scissor lifts in batches of 10 units, 10 by 10, first 10, then another 10. Here are the bases ready to be finished. The cylinders also here. Here are some units of, of the bases in in C4 zinc coating to prevent uh, to prevent uh, rusting. This is a special coating we give here for the bases. It's an optional for the sisal lifts. Our main range of sisal lifts are the one, one meter high uh, low rise, the high rise two meters high, 3.5 ton. And now from now on the lifting table for batteries of the electrical vehicles. Well, we go on with the visit. We can see here the, test, the testing bay of the electromechanical two-post lifts. This is the, the area where we are testing all these units once finished and once assembled. Okay. All those units, for example, of electromechanical lifts, two-post lifts, are ready to be tested also, waiting their turn. And well, here in our right hand, we can see the star of this webinar. This is the 
for EC1600. This is our two post hydraulic lift with no cable, no police. Now I will give the turn to my colleague Manuel Castell, the engineering director of the company. Good afternoon, Manuel. I want uh, to say hello uh, to everybody. I will try to explain uh, uh, the functions um, about uh, our uh, electro, uh, hydraulic uh, uh, two pole lift. Um, first of all, I would like to say that uh, uh, the structural parts are based in our best seller model uh, as uh, we. Uh, we were showing uh, one moment ago that uh, we are making this uh, lift uh, since uh, 2012. So we have this uh, uh, type of lift uh, in the market more than eight uh, years. So uh, both models share the same structural part. Small differences uh, for adapt the electromechanical function to a hydraulic function, but the structural parts are uh, the same. Locks are the same, arms are the same, the column is the same. Um, moreover, I would like to say that uh, uh, the columns are made in uh, high resistant steel are made in uh, is 355 steel and uh, the carriages and arms are made in a mix of uh, several parts uh, cut it by uh, flat uh, plates uh, some parts is 355 another part is 275 and the steel tubes are is 355 uh, quality, are a standard structural tube, but uh, high resistant steel. You, if you remember one moment ago, when uh, we visited the manufacturer area, the welding robot uh, was uh, making um, one carriage similar like that. The carriage that the robot was made in is the electromechanical lift, but uh, all the parts are similar or the same. Uh, following the structural parts, the arms are made in the same, uh, in the same procedure. Some parts are uh, bending. Uh, the main part, the main body of the arm is uh, made with a structural tube and all parts are welded in robot. Every part is made here, including the parts. The parts, sorry. The parts are uh, made in the same machine that we make uh, the spindle and uh, the rack, for instance, is cut in our laser cutting machine. All uh, 100% of components of uh, this lift and all our uh, two-post lifts are made here in uh, our company. Another uh, important part of uh, uh, this hydraulic lift is uh, the cylinder. The cylinders uh, are made in uh, um, hydraulic tube, um, DIN, DIN um, 2397, and uh, the smoothie of the inner surface is like a mirror. The rugosity is less than 0 0.2 mu, so it's a very, very smooth surface. Uh, with uh, this uh, final quality of the surface, the lifetime 
the life of the seals is very, very, very long. If a customer, customer keeps the oil in uh, minimum right uh, conditions, uh, it seems that uh, never can be replaced the seals. Other um, matter that I would like uh, to show is uh, the mechanical valve for uh, do the bleeding procedure. The valve is made here in our company. So when the lift, the lift is in the mechanical end, the pressure move this pin to permit that the oil pass from the one camera to another camera in order to keep the oil in the in the same level in the same all the all the the cameras are full uh, of oil are full of oil okay the lift uh, uh, we try at the end uh, we will show uh, how is the lift package for uh, send to the customer we try to uh, our goal is try to uh, do the assembly in the end user uh, very easy as easy as we can so this is the reason that uh, the lift is 70 percent uh, 80 percent uh, full assembly the the um, columns are full assembly mm, only need to connect uh, the the electric wires and the hydraulic uh, connections but all the parts are assembled now uh, i would like to show how we can install the arm in the lift so it's easy to install. The arms are um, full assembled in the here in the company. Uh, no need any adjustment because are adjusted before delivery the lift and are easy to play. Only need to put the the pin and the cigar on the bottom and the arms and are all ready for uh, for work. The synchronization system of the lift is based in uh, uh, main and the slave cylinder. The main column um, has place inner, the hydraulic cylinder that uh, has oil in the work area. And after uh, do the bleeding procedure, all the oil that are in the work camera of the main cylinder pass by the bypass uh, connections to the auxiliary camera. So uh, with uh, this uh, type of bulb, with this system, we can proceed to do the bleeding, not like uh, I am now my hands in oil. No, we can do the bleeding with any oil in our hand so uh, now i will show how uh, how can do the bleeding okay. we only need to uh, lift till uh, mechanical end and when when the lift is in in the mechanical end the bulb that uh, we show uh, one moment ago is open and permit that the oil pass to the another camera. Now it's doing the procedure. Okay. So the lift is all ready for use. Uh, another uh, uh, safety characteristic you can go down is that uh, if you were uh, heading the lift, 
always when the lift is going up and when it's going down, the lift is always locked. If we stop the movement, the lift lock. And when we go down, go up, sorry, and stop, the lift always is locked. The, the steep of uh, this lock is uh, 60 millimeters. So each 60 millimeters, the lift is always locked. In order the column, there are the two locks that lock with the rack. The locks are moved by uh, the electromagnet. The, this uh, electromagnet is the same that we are using. More than 40, oh, I, don't, I don't know, 40, uh, 50 years in our, in our uh, four post lift. No need air, uh, it's only electrical lock and unlock. A part of that, uh, in order to prevent any uh, movement, the connection between the cylinder and the bulbs are with a rigid tube. And inner the, the connectors, there are control flow bulbs in order to prevent if any oil lake can be produced, the lift cannot go down immediately because the control flow bulbs uh, stop the movement or reduce the movement. And the racks, the locks, uh, stop the movement. Okay. Moreover, you see that when the lift is going down, before arrive at the end, the lift stop and you need, you need to press the down button again in order to save the fit is uh, the fit protection system more safety in order to prevent any uh, small oil lake uh, there are two sensors we, we can we can go um, we can go up a little bit there are two switch on the bottom in each in each column. The function of this switch is that uh, if uh, will be a small difference in the height of the carriage, more than 1.5 centimeters, the lift can no go up. You need to check uh, what's going on on the lift. If there is any oil lake, or if, if there is any desynchronization, it's no normal because the main and auxiliary, the main and the slave system, is uh, a system that uh, always keep the oil in the the movement in the same position. Now, I would like to show. Uh, in order to prevent any obstacle, uh, how the lift uh, works. In the main uh, column, there are on the top one uh, switch. I will show you in the column that we have here. There is placed, uh, placed this switch that the cylinder is hanging. So if there is any obstacle, the cylinder move, uh, moves up and uh, uh, when uh, the switch is activated, the movement is stopped immediately. And in the auxiliary column, we have placed here a pressure valve that uh, when this valve detects that there is no pressure on this cylinder because there is any obstacle, the lift stops immediately. I will show you in the, in the lift. 
always independent if uh, there is a load or uh, there is no load. It's the same for the bleeding procedure. Now, uh, after I check the obstacle system, I will, uh, we will make uh, a bleeding procedure uh, with load. Uh, we recommended do the bleeding procedure without load, but um, there is no problem that uh, we, uh, the customer, do the breathing procedure with load. We can go up. This way, it is uh, a standard car, uh, a standard big car, 2.2 tons, more or less. The lift always before go down, go up, unlock the rack. The lift has stopped immediately. Now we will do the same in the another uh, in the another column in the auxiliary column. The lift has stopped. Immediately. Now we will proceed to do the bleeding with load. The lift will go to the to the end. We press the bleeding button in order to to save the the limit upper switch. Now the lift is. The bleeding was good. So uh, the maintenance uh, in this lift is uh, only keep the oil in uh, right conditions. Uh, I forget to show you the uh, sliders that we use in this lift. Uh, those sliders are made in uh, polyamide 11. Uh, it's a special uh, mm, plastic, it's poly, uh, poly, sorry, poly, polypropylene that uh, has an addition of uh, uh, one special lubricated material. So uh, uh, those type of uh, sliders permit the use with a small quantity of, uh, of uh, grease of, or, uh, or without grease included, but always is recommend, we recommended place grease in the, in the slide. And uh, uh, maybe uh, that's all. Uh, our goal is uh, try to make uh, this type of lift with uh, reduce uh, the maintenance, reduce the installation, reduce the maintenance using parts with a low uh, maintenance, uh, removing parts as uh, steel uh, uh, cables in order to, to avoid any, any maintenance, and with the pre-assembly parts, Mm, or a standard uh, time for install, install the lift in the customer site is uh, no more than uh, 3.5 hours or mm, 4 hours, nor more than 4 hours for install. Okay. Maybe that's all. I only, uh, I will pass the microphone to my colleague Jose. Thank you, Manuel. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's been very, very interesting. Uh, well, I, I think only for before finishing, I would like to. Yeah, yeah. I would like to to show you one thing. This is how you will see the lift once you receive in your installation. When you when you unpack the lift, you will see this. 
one side the column, as Manuel told us, pre-assembled. This is very, very important. The carriages, the pads, we saw before, okay? The pads, the houses, more houses, and everything will go pre-assembled. So I think definitely very reliable lift and very easy installation, less than 3.5 hours to install. This is very important and very helpful and low maintenance. No spindles, no cables, no pulleys. So fully hydraulic to push lift. Thank you very much all for your time. Thank you to be with us for these 30, perhaps 35 minutes. I think time is gold. So thank you very much for staying with us. And I hope to see you soon in our next webinar, which I hope to, we will be doing, performing in perhaps one month in December. See you soon. Thank you very much all. Thank you.